Just got a lead, a new score. There's this painting on a farm outside of town, 50061, Road 35 West. I know, I said I'd give this up. This one's different. This will set us up nicely. Come on, it's not that clever of a plan. Bit of a tease there for a new crime thriller shot right here in Manitoba. Whispers in the Wheat follows a young con man's journey to complete the heist his father died trying to finish. It was shot in and around Brandon and at a farm in the McGregor area in 2020. Whispers in the Wheat will make its world premiere on Friday night at the Evans Theatre in Brandon. I spoke with its writer, director and producer yesterday. Alex Chambers and Miles Crossman, join me now. Hello, guys. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I can't imagine how this week feels for you. Alec, you're about to premiere this film that's been part of your life for so long. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great. It's a big mix of emotions, um, some stress, some nervousness, but overall, I'm excited. Um, <clears throat> this has been a big project for a number of years now, and um, this is the moment we've been working towards, being able to screen it for our community. So uh, it just means so much, and I'm really excited to get going with it. And Miles, you actually shot a lot of it in, in Western Manitoba, didn't you? Uh, well, the, the, most, of the, uh, sorry, most of the production was done in Rosendale, or on a farm just outside of Rosendale, which is really about 10 or 15 minutes this side of Portage, or west of Portage. So... Yeah, and then we did a lot of shooting in Brandon, and then some of our opening shots were done in Winnipeg. So are you expecting a lot of the folks who were in the film to be at the premiere on Friday, Alec? Yeah, yeah. Um, our premiere actually has sold out. Um, a number of those seats are um, for the Brandon kind of cast and crew members. I know some of our Winnipeg-based cast and crew will be at the Winnipeg screenings. Um, but yeah, we're, we're excited to sell at the premiere. We're excited that we can have the local talent that made this film be able to show it within their community. They can bring their friends and families. So that was really important to us. You know, we're really proud that we were able to film something, you know, right where we grew up in our backyard and to show it in that same, um, you know, community is just, it's amazing. Miles, tell me a little bit about what the film's about. Maybe I should get Alec to do that since he's the guy who wrote it. Yeah, Alec, cool. what's the film about? <laughs> um, sure, it's about, um, it's a, kind of a crime thriller about um, a young man who finds his estranged father's journal that dictates the last heist he never returned from. So our main character, Andrew Milton, um, sets out to finish what his father started and complete said heist, um, which is to retrieve a valuable painting from um, a secluded farm. Um, under the guise of a farmhand. For anyone who's not familiar with, you know, roles and movies, producers are the money people. They find the way somehow to, to, to fund it, and they solve a lot of problems. You well, had to do this during pandemic. That's a problem. You know, you know we, we're really fortunate. I think the good people at On Screen Manitoba um, had put together a really great guideline that would allow us to continue, to allow us to shoot safely within you know, within the the confines of an or, of what was considered at the time an orange zone for for COVID, and so we really leaned on that just to put it all together. Like it certainly required extra staff, and I mean, I want to just just stress the fact that every person who worked on this film is invested in this film because none of us got paid on this. Every single person, whether you were you know, helping collect garbage or running the camera or directing or producing, everyone has an equal stake in this film. And we really thought that was an important an important avenue in order to create something that, that just felt like a community homegrown project because it, because it is. And it takes everybody to work together and hopefully make something greater than we could have otherwise because we're all equally invested. Alec, what would you say to that? Yeah, I completely agree. Um, I think what makes this film so special, it was um, really a labor of love of a lot of people from the same you know, part of the world, um, right here in Manitoba, and everyone came together, collaborated, and the best idea always won. 
And I think, um, you know, everyone let their, left their ego at the door. And it was just, um, it felt like a little family kind of community we had created on set. And um, yeah, it was a big kind of cohesive collaborative effort and it, it just made it so much more fun. Guys, the film is called Whispers in the Wheat. I'm so excited to talk to you. Congratulations on getting this done. Uh, Alec Chambers and Miles Crossman, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks.